Good evening, everybody. I'm Dylan Thomas. We have been covering long lines and delays and cancellations at DIA ever since that bad weather hit our airport just a matter of days ago. And it's one of the busiest travel periods of the entire year, with airports across the country now struggling to fight back against the elements. But here at Denver International Airport, it has been one of the worst at the top of the list. This here is the Flight Aware Misery Map. It shows you what portion of flights are on time. That's in the green. And all these in the red, like you see here at DIA, that's bad. That means they've they've been canceled or delayed. DIA is also at the top of the chart here with so many issues. It actually goes off of the chart up here in the top corner. Our Olivia Young has been talking with people facing all kinds of problems and Olivia. Some people are even getting stuck once they get here to Denver. Dylan, take a look at all the red and yellow on this board behind me. That represents all the flights that have been canceled and delayed here at DIA. Now, on my other side, you can see all the people waiting in line to talk to a Southwest representative, some of them facing the possibility of spending Christmas at the airport. Delays? They kept postponing it, you know, delaying it, delaying it. Cancellations? Oh, the flight's been canceled. And baggage woes. But my bags are going to Raleigh. Passengers spending a chaotic Christmas Eve at DIA after a massive storm continues to affect holiday travel. Don't go to the airport during Christmas break. The gardeners and their granddaughter, Dahlia, are hoping to get back home to San Antonio. I've checked every other airline and there's no other flights for this evening. They're hoping to avoid spending Christmas in the airport, but have found hotels and rental cars to be booked up. It's an adventure. She's positive. He's negative. I'm neutral. <laughs> Renee Hawley from Ohio was only planning to stop in Denver for a quick layover on her way home. I got here and my flight got canceled to Columbus. I'm trying to find my bag, but they're telling me I'm not allowed to have my bag. My bag is going to go to Columbus. After her second flight was also canceled. Holly is now stranded in Colorado without her bag. Oh, my laptop's in there like and I work from home, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to work next week. You know, medications and presents and clothes, all my clothes. I just have what I have on me. Colorado residents Luann Olson and Susan Casper met today when their flight to Raleigh was canceled and they too found themselves stranded without bags. We asked about our luggage because they took it from us, right? and the luggage is being shipped to Raleigh. And then there's no flights out for two or three days. Our baggage well, can't be delivered to us. Both women said Southwest told them their bags would not be shipped back to Colorado. Now they'll have to spend Christmas without their families or their things. I'm really sad, as is she. Ever since COVID, I kind of got used to being alone on holidays. Now, I reached out to Southwest about the issue of bags not being returned. They told me that's not their policy and they make every attempt to ship bags back to customers. Now, the Westin Hotel here at DIA is full tonight and a number of restaurants have already ran out of several items. So the toll is clear on the airport as a number of travelers are still stranded just hours before Christmas. At Denver International Airport, I'm Olivia Young covering Colorado First.